So maybe the first battle has something cool, supposedly. Oh, wait, what? Who is this again? Oh my god. Alright, well. At least I get to see something new here. So what's her name? Kukulkan or something? Is that what it is? She's basically Ketz. Oh. So it's a Ketz variant. Alright, let's see what she's like. Oh, but she can't use her MP. Oh man. What a tease, man. Whoa, look at her outfit though. Jesus. Look at that hair. Oh my god. I'm, I'm actually gonna go through her skills, I think. What the hell is that icon, by the way? That first one. It says something about invuls on herself. Oh, it converts normal invuls into special invuls. Wow. Wait, is that her? That's not her normal passive or anything, is it? We can't see. Oh, wait, what? Really? Wait, what? Is it actually a normal passive for her? Or is it just because of this uh, battle here? Or is this actually going to be a real passive on her? And then it does something else too. Every turn gets stars. And every turn gets MP gauge as well. I mean, surely this is not going to be on the summonable version. I don't even know what those other numbers are, but okay. Okay, let's see. What about the other one? It's uh, She improves all allies' buff, uh, debuff success rate up. Wow, it's not just hers. Then the skills. All allies attack up three turns. And uh, crit resistance for three turns. Nice. And... Oh. If you spend ten stars, you can choose to pay... Oh, it's an... Oh, it's like a choice! So it doesn't consume it automatically if you, if you have the stars. Like the old effects. It's a choice. So if you do that, if you spend the ten stars on top of using it... You get more attack up for herself for three turns. Because the normal effect is AoE attack up. Let's see the second skill. Uh, one char It's a targeted battery. Okay. And again, if you spend 10 stars with this skill, the ally who you target also gets a two-time three-turn evade and sure hit for three turns. Okay. If this was a five-turn cooldown, that would be crazy. How big is this battery? Also, let's see those animations. Ah, oh, you- Yeah, okay, so that's what it looks like. That's cool. Wow. The first ever con- Like, like, in, well, it's not the first conditional skill, but first additional cost skill. It's a 50% battery? Well, hold up! Targeted 50% battery, we got another one. Oh my god, okay, dude. Is she a support then? That can also protect you and give you utility if you pay some stars? On a 6 turn cooldown? Looks pretty good. Does this have a conditional too? It does, okay. On base, self, invul for one turn. And then buster card effectiveness for three turns and crit damage for three turns. And then if you pay 10 stars on, on using this, uh, self MP damage for three turns as well. Okay. Now, I want to. Does it actually turn into special invul? Let's do this so we can get some stars. Dude, let's see. I, I probably should have used it before all of these skills, but you know what? Let's see. So pay 10 stars. Wow, it does! Uh, I really wonder, is that passive gonna be on her playable version? Oh my god. So is it now a one-turn special invul? It is! It's not a hit-based one like Castoria. It, con it just straight up converts invuls into special invul. Wow. A one-turn special invul. Even if it's for herself only, that's still huge. For a passive? That's a passive? And it gives you stars and MP per turn as well. I'm guessing those are like very... They have to be very low. Maybe like 2% and 2 stars or something. Considering this is also on the same passive. What the hell, dude? I, 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 I wonder if it's going to be on the summonable version. Jesus Christ. Yeah, let's do this too. Pay the stars. Nice wins. My god, dude. So she's like half DPS, half support, I suppose. Yeah, she has a lot of damaging stats for herself as well. Her MP is readable. Okay, I'll read it next turn when I get it. Let's see her animations, actually. Wow, that's a punch with some fours behind it. Damn, dude. So how many stars? 
Wait, wait, no way! Did I have others FX? Did I just get 10 stars? No way! Does she get 10 stars per turn from her passive? What? Really? Okay, the MP was like, okay, that was like 2% or something. A handful of percent. The MP per turn wasn't that big as I thought, but 10 stars? That has to be story only. If it converts invul into special invul, gives you 10 stars per turn and 3% MP gauge per turn. How? That's the best passive in the entire game. It really is. Wow. Okay, I guess we'll see if she, when she becomes summonable. But man, that is a nuts passive. Absolutely ridiculous. Triple buster. Interesting. That is a full-on gorilla dick. Damn, I bet she can be a really good crit servant as well. So, can I read the MP? Oh, you can read it still? Wow, okay. Self? Okay, let's see, what is this? Is that threat against humanity? I forgot how it's worded. Maybe that's threat against humanity. Okay, so she applies that to herself before damage. Interesting. And then, does AoE damage that... Oh, bonus, it's, uh, bonus damage against Earth enemies. So, Earth attribute enemies. It's a good one. It's a pretty common one. And then... Oh, the Earth thing is... The, the power mod is skills with overcharge. Okay, cool. And then skill seals enemies for one turn. And gain a large amount of stars. Wow. So it's a full-on DPS MP with some star utility. Okay. Damn, I can't wait to see that. Jesus. So, on, honestly, reading through her kit, she's probably not going to be really in any farming comps. I thought maybe because I saw a 50% battery... She's probably not going to be in, like, farming comps unless you're lacking on some of the other ones, like, for a support. But, man, does this servant look cool, though. And I bet she can loop herself really well as well, as a buster looper. So, yeah. So it's 30 stars on the MP, yeah. Usually when it said large amount of stars, that's usually the case. So she can immediately pay for her skills as well. I mean, she gets 10 stars per, her, per passive as well. So the only problem is she doesn't have an instant star bomb that is not a skill-based one. So if you want to use her skills with max effectiveness turn 1, you have to get 10 stars, 20 or 30, depending on how many you want to pay, from other sources. She doesn't have an on-command star bomb herself. Of course, yes, of course, Koyan Light herself, yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, you're right. And it's not, and the star bomb is not on the cooldown reduction. No, it's not. So yeah, that makes sense. Five third. This is a five third skill. Okay, and then I bet she, her farming maybe I'm guessing is going to be decent, but not amazing. But I bet her DPS is going to be nuts. I bet it's going to be nuts. Wow, cuckoo though. You think she's going to be on the week two banner? Oh my god, dude! I bet she is. God damn it. Let's see other animations. We've only seen Buster so far because she has a gorilla dick. You gotta you gotta shoot beams. Creates like a firewall. More punching. So she's like the avatar. She has like a bunch of elements going on. Kichi 2.0. Double Koyan Light lets her use all her skills with the star spend on turn one. Dude, I bet she's gonna be amazing for speed runs. I'm calling it right now. She's gonna be amazing for like min turning. Her, she can have so much, like, ridiculous amount of damaging buffs on turn one with double Koyan. is so crazy. Well, there you go, dude. She looks to be very awesome, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Man. I think she might be on next week's banner then already without seeing anything else. I'm sure there's more to see, but damn, dude. There's so much cool new stuff. Like, that passive is ridiculous. And I love the new, new uh, like, uh, you know, extra cost for the skill. To make them better that's so that's cool i like that they keep innovating let's see that again in the future as well